Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, my name's Madeline. So deceivingly, I'm not going anywhere for New Year's Eve, but I did just do my hair and makeup for fun. I'm gonna take a couple Instagram pictures, but anyways, just thought it'd be fun to still capture this evening. Um, we're gonna get Chinese food, I'm gonna make a dessert. Um, like I said, I'm gonna put on a dress and take an Instagram picture in a second. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much our evening. I'm about ready to pop some champagne. And yeah, I decided to keep you guys along for the night. Um, I just did my hair and makeup um, and I recorded the makeup part. So I'm gonna put that in right after this. And I hope you guys enjoy. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel. New videos every Sunday, mostly fashion and vlogs. Um, and also follow me on Instagram at Madeline A. Woods to see whatever Instagram picture I come up with. Okay, I just curled my hair a little bit. Um, also, I'm gonna show you guys these earrings I got for Christmas. They're like little, um, oh gosh, what would you call them? They're like horns almost going through my ears and they're so cool. And then there's the little dangly ones. Ryan got me these for Christmas. I think they're um, either Missouri or Adina's Jewels. And then these, um, same thing, I'll link them below. But they're so fun. And this necklace is from Amazon because I lost my other one. Um, okay, anyways, let's get into this makeup look. I'm gonna do um, like a glowy, back up a little bit, a glowy New Year's Eve look. Um, nothing honestly that insane because I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> we are just staying in tonight and ordering Chinese food and it's gonna be great. I'm really excited about it. I'm also gonna make um, a dessert, these like magic cookie bars that I've always had growing up and because we didn't know what we were gonna do. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm using the Vitamin Enriched Face Base by Bobbi Brown, but just really focusing it under my eyes. I think there's a specific one for your under eyes, but I don't have that um, and my under eyes just get really dry. So that's honestly all I'm gonna do for primer because I have um, moisturizer on my face and it'll, It'll be fine. I know I honestly don't have a primer right now that I really, really love. So I'm just gonna skip that part. But so for foundation, I'm gonna use my tried and true Armani Luminous Silk and I am in shade 4.25. So I'm just going to use a little more than normal. And what I like to do is just pat it all over my face first. I have like three steps with this. And then after it's all patted over my face, sure. Um, I'm gonna go in. Ooh, there's my, there's my washing machine. I'm gonna go in with this Morphe for it. It's faded, but it's like a, it's a pretty stiff brush, and I'm just gonna kind of do circles and get this all over my face and kind of buff it in and then last step i'm gonna go in with a beauty blender and make sure it's all just melted into the skin beautifully i was also i went away from this for a while but i do think it's important to not to focus away from your under eyes because i'm gonna go in with concealer after this and i don't want it to be too cakey underneath my eyes. But I'm not perfect with it, and so there is a little bit under there. I also just got a pack of these off of Amazon. I thought I was loyal to the Real Techniques sponge, but these are just as good, and I got like five of them off of Amazon. I'm pretty excited about it, because they get gross so fast. Is that just me? But anyways. Also, I just got a package in. First off, I caved. Influencer marketing, y'all. I finally got the Billy Razor. I'm not sponsored by them. Um, but everyone says they're a great razor and razors are super expensive. So I went ahead and got that subscription that all the everyone talks about. But anyways, um, I want to show you guys what I got from Sephora because I'm going to be using some new products today. So. Just show you guys in the box for a second. I got a bunch of good stuff. First, I got the Iconic London um, Illuminator Drops. I've been seeing these everywhere. So perfect for New Year's Eve. I can't wait to use these. I think I'm gonna use them on like my inner corners and um, 
the spots that I want to highlight. Next, I got this Patrick Ta blush. Let's see what shade I got it in. Come on, man. And there we go. Okay, Patrick Ta for the face. She's that girl. And it's a really pretty pink. Here we go. It's a beautiful pink blush and this cream one is apparently amazing and so I'm really excited about using that. Um, there's this new makeup artist that I've been following who lives in Austin and I live in Dallas, so not too far away. Um, I'll link her info below because she did a tutorial with this blush and it just gave, gave the cheeks life. <laughs> okay. Then, a couple more things. I got the Makeup by Mario eyeshadow palette. I just haven't had a new crisp eyeshadow palette in a very long time. And um, I've had my Tarte one that I use for my all my browns and stuff for like three years. So, oh my gosh, why won't you open? Okay. Really pretty sleek packaging. And it's just all... Um, beautiful neutrals. So I'm going to use this today. I'm really excited about that. And um, what am I forgetting? Oh yes. One more makeup by Mario. I got also from that same makeup artist out of Austin. She was talking about this and saying it is amazing for smudging. So I don't think I'm going to use this tonight, but I got this makeup by Mario um, eyeliner and it does, apparently it doesn't set very fast, and so um, it's really easy to smudge and make smoky, because um, I love a smoky eyeliner, so. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with my Tried and True Hourglass Concealer. When I like something, y'all, I just stick to it. And I'm gonna do it right here, and then also go right there. Can you guys hear the rain? It's such a rainy New Year's Eve. I go down my nose. On my forehead and a little on this pimple that's healing up finally <laughs> and then I'm gonna go in with this flat brush and get it everywhere I want it and spread it out and then I'm gonna go in with a beauty blender all right now that I've kind of got that diffused out I'm gonna go in with my same makeup sponge Moving on to contour, I have been loving, again, the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand, and so I'm gonna not do any contour that's too crazy, and I've also been noticing I don't want to do my forehead too much because I am so fair-skinned right now because of the winter, so I don't want it to look like I've been kissed by the sun because I obviously haven't, so I don't have a... I don't have a large forehead, and so I don't really need to contour it to make it look any smaller. So I've been kind of going light on the forehead contour. And then um, also when it dries kind of fast, and so I'll just go section by section so it stays the most, um, not hasn't dried as fast. And then you always want to make sure I always go right at the top of my ear right here and um, You never want to drag it down. I'm sure you guys a lot of you guys have heard this before, but I will just take this brush This is my morphe. Um, or sorry my real technique real techniques 200 brush And so I'll just kind of like pat it in right there Go up a little bit. You always want to go up with it and then I'll just do small circles And make sure you get it into that hairline and I kind of go right here. And then same over here. And I'm gonna do my nose. I don't even know if I do my nose contour correctly, but it always looks better in pictures. I don't dislike my nose, I just like a thinner nose. Oh no, there's my brush that I do. And then for my nose contour, I use a smaller Real Techniques brush. This is the 300. And 
I'll just kind of buff it out and I'll make sure I take it up to my eyebrow so it's like a natural shadow. Sorry, I'm kind of just looking in this mirror right here. Okay. Yeah, that definitely helps. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of my jawline. And I'm just gonna go in with that first brush I was using and just Okay, now I'm going to, you know what, mm, no. Actually, I wanna be really bright under my under eyes. I've been really into that lately. Um, and I'm gonna go in with this Instant Age Rewind from Maybelline, I believe. Um, and I am in the shade Cool Ivory. And I'm just gonna do a little bit right there. And then a little bit on my nose. Oh, what a little too much on my nose. Um, and do the exact same method. I'm just being a little extra and doing some extra where is my flat brush? Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay, I found it. And then I'll make sure I bring it right here because I want to be very bright. I get a little off of my nose. That is a lot. Okay. And this really enhances that nose contour too. Okay, Beauty Blender. I don't know, it's not the actual Beauty Blender brand. I guess you'd call it a makeup sponge, but it's kind of like Kleenex and tissue, you know? Okay. Oh yes, that is so bright. I love it. I'm gonna go in with the Huda Beauty um, Translucent Powder in the shade Pound Cake. I'm gonna do my bake. I feel like people don't bake as much as they used to, but I like it because I get very oily in my T-zone. I'm gonna do the little underneath where I contoured. Um, and then I'm just gonna put a little bit right there. A little bit on my forehead. And I'm just gonna let, that's it. For brows, um, I'm just gonna do a pretty simple wispy brow. I've been trying to fill them in a little bit less than I used to because <laughs> I actually went back and watched one of my old videos and was like, shit, my eyebrows look like really filled in and dark. And they don't even really, I actually have thick brows and so I don't even really need to fill them in that much and like, you want it to look like hair. So, okay. I'm gonna go with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer and I think I'm, yeah, I'm dark brown. And I'm just gonna fill in the spots that look a little sparse and I'm gonna just put some gel over them. And then I'm gonna drag them out a little bit longer. So for eyes, um, I was watching a tutorial and I really want to do a cut crease, but what I've learned is I didn't know is that I have hooded eyes and um, it sounds so negative, you know, like you have hooded eyes, but basically I just don't have much real estate on my eyelids. I hate that word, real estate. Anyways, but I'm going to attempt to do it because I was watching a video and if you just go like a little bit above it, you can do a cut crease. So anyways. I am going to use this palette and go for a very just smoky brown look. And I'm gonna start out by taking this flat brush and um, let's see, I'm gonna take a mix of oop, this one and this one just to start out on a very, this is my first time using this palette too guys, so and just get my lid very matte. 
actually i'm gonna go into a little bit with the lightest beige this one right here and just go all over my lid oh here comes ryan hey <laughs> You look funny. It is so rainy out. What is that big box? Is that for you or for me? Because I have no idea what that is. That is not what you're looking for? Um, no, it, it very well could be. What were you thinking it was? I just don't know what that big box is. So now let's attempt that cut crease. I'm gonna go in with one of these, a couple of these brown shades. I think I'm gonna mix these two. And mm, actually, okay, I'm gonna go in with this fluffier brush and just gently kind of start diffusing it right in here. It's pretty. These are really good formulas. I like this a lot. So basically my goal with this look is to keep my lid pretty light and um, focus on that cut crease. Okay, and then I have to make a, basically like a mock line as if I had a bigger lid. And so I'm gonna go Right here. Go all the way in. Okay. And just kind of keep like packing it on. Um, and then I'm gonna go in and kind of like diffuse it a little bit more because I want it to blend nicely too. Okay. I'm just going in and defining right here, keeping the lid light. Um, just going in with that deepest brown shade. Oh my gosh, you can't even see that one right there and just defining that out more. Okay, and then now I'm gonna go in with um, my concealer brush and like define out that crease. Okay, that's cool. All right, I'm liking that a lot better. Okay, this part is key. And then I'm kind of dragging it on the lid. And then I'm also going to take it a little more, a little more of the dark on the lid a little bit um, for a little more of a cat eye effect. I'm going to go in with this one. Okay, no, that actually looks really cool. Okay, now I'm gonna do the bottom, um, and I really wanna make sure I am connecting the top, um, the end of the eyeshadow with the bottom eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go in with, um, with like a slanted brush like this, and I'm just gonna pick up that same dark brown shade right there and just run it under my eye. Like that, and then I'm gonna go in with um, this one, it's a little bit thicker and kind of diffuse it a little bit. All right, now 
gonna go in with a liquid liner this is the best liquid liner i think i've ever tried it's the kat von d um tattoo liner and i'm just gonna do a really thin i'm gonna start all the way from over here and i'm just gonna do a really thin line and get a little bit thicker at the end um and not really do much of a wing so all right i just put that liner on and now for mascara i'm going to curl my lashes and and honestly i don't think i'll ever buy a designer mascara again but um because i just think drugstore ones are good too and they're way more expensive than drugstore but i do really like this combination that i've always used or i've been using for the past few months um the dior show maximizer 3d for a primer and i i <laughs> a mascara primer or eyelash whatever primer and then um this Gucci mascara is just, it's beautiful. Okay, now I'm going to take off my bake, um, finish my eyebrows, and, um, then I'm gonna come back at the end and put on a few of these Ardell trios um, on the ends of my lashes for my fake lashes. So let's get this big off. Okay, and then now I'm gonna go in and do a little bit of bronzer. And I'm gonna go in with my handy dandy Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer, it's the best. Um, and I think I'm just gonna use, no, I don't want this. I'm gonna go in with this um, brush a little bit on my forehead because I'm kind of shiny. And then have like a looser hand, um, kind of like focus it where I put my contour, but I can be a little looser with it and not as um, strict with the placement. And I'm also gonna go in with this Real Techniques brush in 402 and do a little more nose contour. I didn't do this stuff for a long time, but I would just do the bake and that was it. But I have been really liking going in with this Charlotte Tilbury um, airbrush flawless finish um, and just taking a fluffy brush and just doing a layer all over my face. I really like it. And it kind of just like locks everything in. And then I'm going to um, set my brows with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. And I want them to look fluffy. I've been working on them being fluffier. They're nicely shaped. They're recently waxed. Okay, that's good. All right, now it's time for the fun part. Hold on. You're supposed to do lip lips. I mean, um, foundation on your lips. I hate that. Okay, now it's time. I'm going to do the Patrick Top Blush. And he says that you should go in and do the powder first. Or do you do the powder first? I can't remember which one he says. Yeah, I think he says powder first and then the cream blush over the top of it. So we're going to do that. I'm going to look up and make sure that's correct. Though. That's the way I'm going to do it today. And then I want to make sure that I just focus. Oh, I'm scared. Um, on the apples of my cheeks. Oh, that's gorgeous. And go up. It's very pigmented though, so you should be a little careful. Okay, bring it up. Okay, and then now um, that 
makeup artist from Austin that I followed, she said it is the best to just take the butt of the beauty blender and just tap it in the cream and then just go on the cheeks. And she said it has the most beautiful finish. And I agree, I like that a lot. It's nice, it's like not, um, it like gives you some life, but it's not um, too like oily and shiny, you know? All right, now I'm gonna go in with those lashes. Oh crap, I just realized my tweezers are in my car. It's okay, I think I can use my fingers. So I'm gonna take, so there's a, there's a short length and a medium length, and I like to do like, a short and then a medium and then a short and then a medium on the ends and so i'm gonna do that okay lashes are on um they're nothing too crazy but they just add a little oomph um and then now i'm going to do a little highlight and then set my face and then i am done for setting spray i'm going to use the morphe continuous setting mist and i say this in every video i know i do but i swear every video i'm going to save someone's life cover your part when you're spraying this because it'll make your hair greasy quicker when it gets in the front of your hair so okay and then i'm gonna pop that in quickly but i like it when my skin is still a little dare i say moist um when i apply my highlight Ooh, you know what i'm gonna do i forgot i'm gonna use these iconic illuminator drops Ooh, i'm so Scared. I know these go a very long way. So I'm just gonna take a teeny tiny bit on my finger, like that much. And apply it. Oh my gosh. I think I can literally use that on the other side too. Wow. These are everything. Holy moly. I think I'm gonna use a beauty blender. Wow, that's really pretty. Okay, but now I'm really, um, before I actually, okay, wait. <sighs> I'm all over the place. I'm gonna finish with this Dior um, blush topper and um, highlight. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go over the top of that liquid highlight and I'm gonna use this. This brush, I don't know where this is from. Oh, this is Morphe, Y14. Okay, I might do a tiny bit of blush topper, even though I already have a blush topper on technically. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the gold one um, and go exactly where I just put those illuminating drops just to make it extra, extra New Year's Eve, shall I say. Okay, and then now, I want to put these illuminating drops in the corners of my eye for a New Year's Eve look. So where is that brush that I want to use? Okay, yes. I want to use this really, really tiny little brush. Um, and I'm just going to, actually, I'm just going to pick it up off the side of the dropper. Oh my God. And I'm going to drag it a little bit. Oh, oh no. Oh my gosh, this is tragic. Okay, we're good. Sorry, it just, um, it's smeared a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna do the other eye. Y'all, this a little bit goes so far with this stuff. I'm never gonna run out. Oh my god, it's like a little eye booger. Okay, other part. I'm gonna drag it a little. There we go. Ooh, it's so New Year's Eve. So for lip, I want to go for a very dramatic old Hollywood kind of red look. I haven't worn I haven't worn these lipsticks in so long, but this is the um, Double Wear Stay On Place Lip Pencil um, from Estee Lauder. And I put this on real quick. It's like a very red, but like a wine red. I'm gonna go like this to overline my cupid's bow. But then I don't wanna overline when it gets over here. So I want a very pouty look. Okay. 
And then same thing on the bottom. Wow, I like the line already. Okay, and then um, <laughs> this lipstick is, so it's from NARS. And it is, there is, it's uh, called Audrey. I don't even know if they still sell it. I've had this for so long. But I remember when I used to wear this all the time, I would take this little like painter, um, paintbrush at the end of the lip liner and tap in it because it would be a lot to handle when I would just put it on with the stick. It's kind of fun, it's like painting. I'll do a few layers though. Okay, I'm just gonna take my hair out. Like these. Okay, and this is our staying in for New Year's Eve 2020 look. I'm gonna go, so I had this dress that I've had from Zara for a while and I always thought it'd be the perfect New Year's Eve dress and so I'm gonna put it on and take a couple pictures because I can't let all this clam go to waste, but yes. Okay, I'm gonna go put that dress on and then I'll see you guys after. I'm back to where I belong in my sweatpants. We're about to pop some champagne. All right, so I'm undoing the Chandon and we just placed our Chinese food order and I should have known that everyone else would have had the same idea as us to stay in and have Chinese food on New Year's Eve in 2020 because I'm starving and the wait is, um, an hour and a half until you can pick up our order. So we're just gonna have some champagne. Uh, oh my God, what is wrong with me? <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead and make our dessert. Okay, actually I might need your help. Oh wait, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. Ready? So my mom got us these really cute glasses for Christmas because we were um, vintage shopping a couple months ago and I pointed out how I really liked these um, vintage hand blown glasses, um, but, not, but not these exact ones. And so she went and hunted for some um, at a different store in Plano and found those for me. And so that were, they're really cool. I have six of them and so I'm excited. So these are gonna be perfect because I'm gonna make us French 76s or 75. I never know the difference. One has gin in it but I'm gonna use it with vodka. Um, and so it's just, I'm trying to think, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the vodka first. It's like a shot of vodka, champagne, and then some lemon juice. I'm just gonna do one of those. Some champagne. It's mainly champagne. And these, these get you tipsy real quick. dessert in the oven and I'm currently being cheap and trying to find how to watch um, Dick Clark's New Year Rock and Eve without paying for anything and we've already used free our free trials on whatchamacallit Hulu um, YouTube TV and so I think Sling is our last option and um, I've heard great things about Sling you know maybe we'll keep it 
but that's what I'm doing right now. Um, Brian just went to go pick up the Chinese food and I'm so hungry and I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, that is where we're at right now. Brian just got back and I'm so excited. They put him in the cute little, little boxes. Got some fortune cookies, egg rolls. We definitely got entirely too much food. That's okay. Some crab cream cheese wontons. We got this crispy beef and then we got orange chicken. So that's the move. You guys, if you were in Dallas, go to Royal China. We have taken bites of the crab rangoons and the egg rolls and oh my gosh, this is Chinese food on another level, so. All right, you guys, it is New Year's Day. Happy New Year. I'm wishing you all a very happy and healthy new year. Um, I'm super excited about what this year will bring. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. We're about to head to my mom's for New Year's Day. Um, but yeah, if you have not already, make sure you subscribe to my channel, new videos every Sunday, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.